Okay guys, so I'm here today to do my 38 week pregnancy vlog. Um, this probably won't be my last one, but yeah, <laughs> just by saying that you guys know. I had a my 38 week checkup this past Wednesday. I'm actually 38 weeks and three days, two days, three days, but I thought I would do my 38 week anyway because yeah, so it's like 37, 38 weeks. So, anyways, I had my 38-week appointment this past Wednesday. Um, my blood pressure and my um, heart rate were up the two times that they ended up taking my blood pressure. And so, I had to go and lay down in the room on my left side in the dark for about 5 or 10 minutes. And then they had to take my blood pressure again. And it ended up coming down. So they were happy with that. But I don't know why my blood pressure was up. And my heart rate was up. They asked me if I went up the stairs. And I said no. They asked me if I was doing something. And I said no. They said were you in a rush? I was like kind of. Because I was like 15 minutes late to my appointment. <laughs> so yeah. That was probably why my heart rate and blood pressure were up a little bit. But it went down. So that was that. She ended up checking me. And I have not dilated. She says I am high up and closed. But that doesn't really mean too much because you can basically be like 5 centimeters and 50% 50 50 of face for like weeks. Or you could be totally closed and in 20 minutes you can have your water break and be dilated and everything. So stuff like that doesn't really matter too much. Um, but she said he is really, really, really low. So I could go any day now. Really, just you just don't know, to be exact, when you're going to have the baby. <laughs> so I, I try not to get my hopes up too much. I try, I try to take everything with a grain of salt. And that's what happened at that doctor's appointment. What else? She just did like kind of my birth plan where she put it in the, to the computer. So when I do check into the hospital, they kind of know what I want to happen. Um, I do know that he is super low right now. I can feel him very, very, very low. Especially when I'm sitting like on the toilet. If I'm going pee, I feel like he's going to come out of me. He's like so low and so much pressure. I've been having Braxton Hicks here and there. I, I don't know. I think I have contractions once in a while. Not too often. I think more at night, but I'm half asleep anyway, so I'm just like rolled over. Really so hasn't I haven't really done nothing. I have another doctor's appointment on August 6th, which is in like a week. Another on Wednesday, I'll be 39 weeks. Um, I also asked her because I was a little bit worried because I know that with gestational diabetes, your babies tend to be larger, and I was worried that I'm going to have like a nine or ten pound baby. Joel's went over his 40 weeks, and he was only seven pounds uh, 13 ounces. So I mean, that's you know good size but I didn't have gestational diabetes with Joel so I'm just a little bit worried because I'm of the fear of having a c-section because he might be too big she says I am measuring a little bit large but I'm still not super large to where I'm off the normal range I guess that's what she said so she's not worried about that she said if she did induce me at 38 weeks I have more of a higher rate of having a c-section which is fine. I don't want to be induced, to be honest. I think it's, you know, he'll come when he's ready. But I really do hope that he comes by 40 weeks and not wait like his brother till after. We'll see. She just says to have a lot of sex and I need to walk a lot. So we'll see. I'm going to try and start walking. It's just been super hard to walk lately because... It's so hot out. You'd have to like go walking at like 5 o'clock in the morning or like 10 o'clock at night. Just to go, you know, because it's just been like 100 degrees here. So yeah. Um, my hands and my feet have been swollen. Not super duper swollen, but enough to where I can feel like my toes and my fingers are little sausages. It's not that good of a feeling. Mostly at the end of the day, my feet are swollen. My hands are more swollen like throughout the whole day this arm and this arm feel like they both have carpal tunnel in it now this one is worse I can't even like write or anything and my hand starts going numb or it just feels really weak so that is 
not fun. And then I think I have a pinched nerve in my back now from the way I was sleeping. So I'm getting down to the wire <laughs> where I'm about ready for have to have him here. Um, but you know, he'll come when he's ready. He moves a lot. I can feel his uh, like he's face down or head down. And his butt is like facing my stomach, so his head's facing my back. And I can feel his butt move back and forth and back and forth throughout the day. So he doesn't have much more room in there, and I can feel his feet kicking my ribs and everything else up there. So he's he's pretty long, and he's running out of room, so hopefully he decides to make an appearance. Pretty much ready for him. I have everything ready. I have my hospital bag packed. I have my son's um, big brother gift ready. My mom is here. She'll be staying with us to watch my son. We've already gone through, you know, his day of how everything will go. If my husband's here, if he isn't here, if it happens at night, you know, all that stuff that you prepare yourself. So my son will be here at this house, at our house, and my mom will be staying here. So he'll feel more comfortable being here in his own house doing his own routine and everything so i'm not too worried the test came back negative so that's good my blood test for anemia came back and i'm not anemic so that's also good i'm just tired all the time <laughs> my gestational diabetes has been horrible as far as me testing i have not tested in like two weeks i know i'm just uh, so with that but I have been staying on the diet for the most part so yeah only a couple more weeks left yeah, at night hasn't been so great anymore uh, I just can't get comfortable the heartburn has gone down a bit though so that's good I don't have as much heartburn at night and another TMI is I've been going to the bathroom a lot, like number two. I just feel like I gotta go all the time. And hopefully that's a sign because I heard that if you go a lot, you it's just like cleaning your body out and you're getting ready for labor. I don't know. I think with my son, I was pretty much the same, but I was like that all the time. Um, I pee more frequently. I pee more frequently, but not like a huge amount to where... Uh, it like really affects me everywhere I go. Oh, I get really itchy too. Like my feet have been itchy and like I get itchy right here and on my hands. I know that's another like it could be uh, another kind of like a disease or illness or something that pregnant women get at the end of their trimester. But I don't think that's what I have because my like they don't itch on the soles of my feet. They just itch like on the top and I'm pretty sure it's just because of the dryness of the weather and also because I'm swollen um, so yeah but I will be talking to my doctor next week about it's that now the size of a watermelon I don't know what kind of watermelon they're talking about when I think of watermelon I think of Costco watermelons which are like freaking huge they're like this big so I don't know what watermelon they're talking about he could be six and a half pounds to nine and something pounds up to 19 20 inches long so he's definitely getting there as far as that. He's pretty much ready whenever he's done cooking in there. So yeah. So I think that's pretty much everything of this week of 37 weeks, 38 weeks. I will see you guys in my 39 week video with my updated appointments and yeah hopefully maybe you never know <laughs> all right guys bye